this evening. The Municipal Association has been in existence for more than 80 years. It's a voluntary membership organization. Its members are cities throughout the state of Georgia. The association was created 80 plus years ago solely to lobby on behalf of cities at the state capitol. And 80 years later, that's still a major aspect of our reason for existing. However, over time, we've provided uh, a variety of programs and services to cities, and one of those programs is training. We provide training for municipal elected officials. We also provide training, as Bruce mentioned, for downtown development authorities in, in conjunction with the University of Georgia. We offer basic DDA training four times each year. Uh, newly appointed DDA board members are required by state law to have eight hours of training during their first year. Of service on the DDA board, and, and our training program is designed to meet those requirements. Uh, two years ago, we began offering an advanced DDA training course in response to uh, requests from, from various DDA board members and DDA staff saying, you know, is, there, is there a next a next course that we can take? Is there something above the basic that we can take? And we, we developed the course again in conjunction with the University of Georgia, and they offer it uh, twice a year. Uh, between the, the, the four basic classes and the two advanced classes, we, we average anywhere from 200 to 300 attendees at those six different programs. So training is very important to us, and, it, and it's one of the ways that I'm involved with, with DDAs around the state. Uh, the second way that I'm involved with the DDAs is, is through the Georgia Cities Foundation, which was created by the Georgia Municipal Association, or GMA, uh, as we refer to it. Back in 1999, the Municipal Association created the Georgia Cities Foundation as a 501 c 3 subsidiary to help cities with downtown revitalization. Uh, just about every program and service that, that we have created at GMA over the years has been in response to a need or a request from, from our member cities. And, and back in the 90s, we were hearing from city officials saying our downtowns are dying, help us save our downtowns, and, and for that reason, the which Cities Foundation was created. What does the foundation do? Uh, it's, it's not a foundation that gives money away. It, it's a foundation that provides low interest loans for downtown uh, projects. And, and we work closely with DDAs around the state to, to provide loans. Uh, Larry mentioned uh, the loan program that, that we operated through the Cities Foundation. Here mentioned it as well. Uh, we, we provided several loans through the the Central Valdosta Development Authority in Valdosta and through the Thomasville Downtown Development Authority in Thomasville. And, and we work very closely with the state of Georgia who has a similar loan program for downtown revitalization called the Downtown Development Revolving Loan Fund Program. So we are, are one of those loan programs that, that you've already heard about uh, that we work with DEAs. The, the way our program works, we, we work in partnership with local banks and, and at times with the Georgia Department of Community Affairs and with private building owners, developers, and typically there's a bank loan that may be at 50% of project cost and, and then a low interest loan behind the bank, uh, either Georgia Cities Foundation or the Department of Community Affairs or if the project's large enough, like one of the, the large projects that Karen mentioned, uh, could be a possibility for both of those low interest loan programs to, to be used in a project downtown. But uh, we, we are trying to take the place of, of local banks. We're, we're trying to work with local banks. We encourage local banks to be involved with downtown projects. Um, what we found when we created the program, our, our primary goal was to provide a, a low interest loan to, to take a good project that might be tough making the, the numbers work and, and help that project move forward. Then the recession hit, and, and what we found uh, coming out of the recession is that, that access to capital is, is just as important as, as a low interest rate, and in many cases it may be more important because we're not finding many banks across the state that, that are providing 80 or 90 percent financing anymore. They're providing 50 or 60 percent financing. So the developers got to come up with, with another 50 percent or 40 percent from another source. And, and one source, of course, is out of pocket. But, but other sources are available as well, including uh, low interest loan programs such as the one at the Georgia Cities Foundation and, and the one at the Department of Community Affairs. We, 
Both of these programs make loans through the DEA. They do not make direct loans to private individuals. We work with DEAs. We, we want to make sure that our limited resources are, are being used for projects that are consistent with the DEA's uh, plans for downtown development, that are consistent with the city's vision for downtown. So I, I feel like I'm giving a commercial for our loan program, and that really wasn't my intent. But uh, before I give the mic back up to the mayor, um, what I wanted to mention in, in closing is that uh, there are presently 150 statutory downtown development authorities in the state, according to the registry of some of the Department of Community Affairs website. And, and that's a, a large number. And, and while our, our loan program at George City Foundation has been in existence since 2002, uh, we've probably made loans to about a third of, of those uh, DDAs. But uh, we've, we've had a presence in, in South Georgia, including about Austin, Thomasville. We've made loans in Bainbridge, Miller, Moultrie, Sylvester, and, and then, of course, all over the state, in cities like Rome, Macon, and Gustville and Grange. Athens, Fayetteville, and you may be thinking, well, those are all a lot larger than, than Hay Hira, but we've also made loans in, in smaller communities as well, including Dallas, uh, <coughs> Cleveland, Clarksville, Camilla. Um, so large cities can have DBAs, and small cities can have them too. And, and in many cases, uh, the, the DBA in a small city may have a bigger impact and a bigger role than, than in a large city. But um, it, when we do DDA training around the state, we talk about, or I, I actually talk about uh, in, in the opening of the class, about characteristics of a great downtown. And, and I'll be honest, there, there are numerous characteristics of, of great downtowns. And, and, I, and I never mentioned that one characteristic is a, is a DDA. But a DDA can be a, a very effective tool for the, for the community. And, and by having a, an active DDA, uh, you can certainly have it in a great downtown. Uh, I'm, I'm encouraged by what I've, I've heard this evening. I'm encouraged by the, the Odom building uh, that we saw the, the presentation on. That project is, is very similar to the projects that, that our foundation and, and, and the Department of Community Affairs loan program have been involved in around the state. And, and what, what we're excited about, we've seen this in Thomasville and Fayetteville and Augusta, is that, you know, Somebody takes a, a building like the Oda building and invests in it and rehabs the building, and it inspires others to do the same in the community. And it's almost like a domino effect. And people start doing things differently in the downtown. And, and, and people before that, that may have said, you know, this would be a great building for a restaurant or a great building for a lot of apartments or a great building for, for something. Uh, if only somebody would do something with it, meaning somebody else. Uh, they, they start in investing in these projects themselves and, and they view these, these empty buildings and vacant lots as opportunities rather than as blighted spots. And, and that's something we're seeing all around the state and, and it's encouraging to see the, the renaissance that's, that's occurring in the downtowns of many cities around the state. And, and I, I think Hay Hire is, is primed to do the same thing. And uh, so I, I applaud you for being here this evening. I applaud the city for for considering this, this step and I'm glad to answer any questions at the appropriate time. Thank you.